So good day guys. Today, ito yung um isosolve nating problem. So um same sa previous na ano ko na tutorial so we will be solving this reaction at uh, at this point and this R2, R1 and R2. So uh, ito yung reference ko guys kung gusto niyo malaman. So yan. So page um no page ba to ito. Page 70. So ito yung problem natin. Ah uh, problem 333. So um problem 333 state that um determine the reactions R1 and R2 of the beam in figure P333 loaded with a concentrated load of 1,600 pounds and a load varying from 0 to an intensity of 400 per feet. So, my answers na binigay para ma-check natin yung answer natin mamaya. So, ngayon, so, kung napanood nyo guys yung mga previous tutorial ko, na-explain ko na kung paano um, wait mo na, focus ko muna to at i-zoom konti Yun. so sa previous tutorials ko meron akong mga tutorial na um, kung paano hanapin yung resultant ng isang triangular loading at paano malaman yung location <coughs> ng uh, resultant na yun so, hindi ko na masyadong explain dito Pero, I will try to explain it again So, ngayon, in this problem I will be <coughs> summing up moment at um, sa R2 R2 na lang siguro kasi mas nandito na siya sa <coughs> um, malapit sa triangular loading So, nakadepende pa rin yan sa inyo guys yung saan kayo mas saan nyo mas gustong mag sum up moment so sa akin is dito sa R2 so pag kung nakikita nyo to guys um, itong mga bilog na to so meron yan dun sa problem um hindi, hindi din talaga ako sure kung nakalimutan ko na kung anong tawag yan um eto sila guys so um, rollers I think roller yan so hindi nakasabi dito kung ano yan so pero sa pagkakaalam ko roller yan meaning itong triangular triangular loading is um may roller na support dito sa baba so meaning hindi ako sure pero kapag may may force dito siguro banda mag roll itong triangular loading na to pero hindi ako sure guys so <clears throat> yun let's start so kung gusto nyo talaga malaman if um kasi guys um paano ba to if gawin ko yung isiparate ko tong um, triangular with this load uh, with this support no gawin ko siyang ganito and here so here alam natin na meron yung force or yung roller is um merong um what you call this isang force going up Okay. So, lagay natin ng triangular uh, R T 1 R T 2 So Ito yung 400 LB feet So, hindi ko naman din Hindi naman din talaga Kailangan gawin pa to guys So, but for the sake na um, uh, Magamit din natin tong uh, roller na to mga roller na to so gawin na lang natin to para medyo hindi sayang yung pagka drawing dun sa book so um, 
first is hanapin natin yung um, itong isiparate natin to so itong RT1 and RT2 hanapin natin to so sum up moment dito sa, or it's RT2 so RT1 times 12 12 to so there positive then minus 1 half of 400 times 12 times 12 then um, 1 third of of 12 equals to 0 so yung R T1 is just equal to so <coughs> 12x minus 1 half of 400 times 12 times 1 third of 12 So, meron tayong 800 LB or pounds. So, summation. Ito yung summation moment at R T2 is 0. So, summation of force is Y is 0. Meron tayong 800 minus um, 1 half of 400 times 12 plus R T2 is 0. So, yung RT2 is just equal to one thousand six hundred. So, RT2 is one thousand six hundred pound. So now, paano natin to siya sila gagamitin dun sa problem natin? So na separate na natin to guys di ba etong etong triangular loading na to sa taas so yung remaining is yung sa baba na lang so sinya na wala akong ruler or hindi na ako magro-ruler no so 16 lb so ito yung r2 so meron tayong etong rt2 guys so, dahil going up to dito, so, dito sa baba is going down. So, 1,600. Then, itong RT1 na to, so, 1 um, feet from 1,600. So, dito siya. Maybe dito. So, ito is RT1 of 800 LB. So, ito na yung new, ano natin, dito na tayo, ito na yung new figure natin. So, to solve for RT1 and RT2, ito na yung gagamitin natin mga um, forces. So, um, now, so this is 3 feet, 1 feet, 12 feet. So, there. So, um, magsasum up moment ako dito sa summation of moment at R1 equals to 0. So, 1, 6 positive times 3. Um, plus um, 800 times 4 then plus 1600 times um, 1516 minus R2 times 16 there so R2 just equals to 16 times 3 plus 804 Plus one six sixteen plus sixteen x a minus sixteen sixteen x equals zero. So meron tayong two thousand one hundred. So two thousand one hundred now R two. Then so para mahanap yung R one is summation of forces. Y na lang. So, meron tayong negative 1, 6 minus 800 minus 1, 6 plus R2 um, plus R1 equals to 0. So, R1 is equal so 1, 6 minus 800 minus 1, 6 plus 2, 1 so plus x 
So, 1,900 pounds. So, check natin, no? Kung correct. So, yung, so ito yung final answer natin. R2 and R1. So, page 70. There. <clears throat> 2, 1, R2 and R1 is 1, 9 so uh, yun guys so R1, 1, 9 and R2 of 2,100 but ito yung long method guys pero sure na ito yung sure at long method para mahanap tong tong R2 or yung mga reactions pero pwede nyo nang pwede nyo din idiretso na ikons or parang dahil nga roller lang to meaning yung force sa taas is same lang yung tra trans ang tawag yan pag transmit ng force from this uh, rectangular loading going dito sa um, um, beam natin is same lang so i-reverse lang natin yung um, direction diba so meaning pwede natin siyang i-derecho i-solve na ito yung parang i-disregard natin or hindi natin pansin yung tong roller na to so try natin guys so using this whole figure mag moment ako dito sa R2 at tignan natin kung same yung answers natin dito sa long method or sa long process no? so meron akong first gusto kong hanapin yung resultant ng itong ano so alam ko dito siya ma, ma yung location ng resultant so yung resultant is one half ng intensity ng high highest intensity so 400 times yung length so 2400 ito yung um resultant nya so yung location is dito so one third of 12 so so 4 meaning may 4 feet din dyan so <clears throat> now magsa sum up moment at r2 na ako so, okay. So, meron akong R1. Positive times. So, 16. Yung full length ng beam natin. Then, minus 1,600 times. So, um, 12 plus 1 is 13. Then, 2, 4. Ito, ito na lang i-consider natin guys na yung resultant ng triangular loading. So, minus 2,400 times 4 plus 2, 0 so mahanap natin yung R1 hmm, 16 minus 1, 6 is 13 minus 2, 4 times 4 so there so nakita nyo guys same lang yung naging answer natin R1 is 1, 9 so, same dito. Um, dito, di ba? Then, summation of force is y equals to 0. So, may R1 tayo. 1, 9 minus 1, 6 minus 2, 4 plus R2 equals to 0. So, R2 is just equal to minus 2, 4 plus x. So, 2,100 pounds. So, there. So, nakita nyo guys yung itong method na to. Is, yung answer natin dito is same lang dito sa long method na ginawa natin. So, kayo, kayo yung nasa sa inyo yun kung ano yung gagamitin nyo na um, approach sa so, long approach or yung sa dito sa short so there ito yung solution ko so 
correct naman sa book is also the same answer. So, kung may tanong kayo guys and um, suggestions or may problem na gusto nyong uh, magpatulong kung kaya ko isolve. So, don't hesitate to comment down below or message me on Facebook. So, there. So, if you learn something and you, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video ko, so, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for um, updates sa mga future tutorials ko. So, thank you and God bless.